Hey everybody, this is Lynn from Malevolent Makeup. I'm doing a sort of green and dark yellow blended look today. Um, throughout the tutorial, it might seem a little choppy. I've been having a little bit of problems with the lighting in here. Um, I swear the next time I do a tutorial, it's going to be in natural light and not in this shitty yellow light. So, um, again, let me get my hair out of my way. This is the look. Um, it's real quick and easy. I might actually just redo this tutorial because it's going to end up so damn choppy. Um, if you have any questions on it, please do ask me. Um, and that's about it. Thanks for watching and sorry it's been a while since I posted. So I'm starting off with my Urban Decay um, my Shadow Primer Potion. With this one. And I usually don't use brushes. You guys can use brushes, I'm pretty sure. So, again, this is off of the Manly 88 palette. The yellow is pretty vibrant. Sorry for any uh, lighting issues or anything, it's not daytime. So, all this light's natural, or not natural. Anyways, we're pretty much putting it over the lid and just going up a little bit past your natural crease. That's it. And then from there, from the same palette, I'm going to take this lime green color. There we go. <laughs> Put that right over the yellow. And don't worry if you get a little anywhere that you don't want it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and surround this whole yellow with it. Okay, right before we cut our crease, we're going to go ahead and put a slight highlight right below the brow bone. Okay, and after we do this light highlight right underneath the brow bone, we're going to take a small angled brush. It's the only part I never use my fingers. And we're going to dip it in just a little bit of black at first. I'm going to go ahead and cut your crease, as they would say. <laughs> Pretty much cutting your crease it's just following the crease line from your eyelid from the end of your eyelid up here to where your brow bone starts to begin anyways after you do the basic cut crease we're gonna take a fluff, oh it's just a small eyeshadow brush it's just one of the uh, elf brushes with a little bit of black eyeshadow on it and for this I'm gonna take my mirror because I need a little bit closer look my nice new barbed wire mirror <laughs> And all the thing you're going to do is just put a little bit more black in there, but this time since we have a more fluffier brush, we're going to be able to fan this out a bit more. Anyways, after we have our black put in there, we're going to go ahead and go over that. Sorry about my webcam. It keeps making any weird pixelations or anything. I don't know, it's kind of freaking out on me. <laughs> So anyways, we're going to go ahead and blend. This green into our black. So we get that look. So after we cut the crease and we blend out the black, we go ahead and just put a little bit of green over as I did. After, I'm going to go ahead and do my liquid eyeliner. Okay, so after doing our liquid liner, which I had to skip through because of time issues, <laughs> just go ahead and do like a wing tip is all, just following your natural line and then winging it out at an angle. That's all I did for there. And then, I already had mascara on, I already started with it because I had other makeup on earlier. So just finish this off with a regular black coal liner on your inner eyelash or inner eye. Yeah. Lower lash line. There we go. <laughs> and you're going to go ahead and make a V point. Okay, after making our V, I'm just going to go over right underneath the waterline 
it might look a little smudgy that's fine because what I'm going to do is take an, a small eyeliner smudge brush and go ahead and smudge all of that to get a bit of a smoky look on the bottom okay and after going ahead and smudging the bottom I'm just taking a little bit of green that's left from the brush I used earlier to blend the black and the green and I'm just going to go under and just swipe that under. I know you can't see too much because of the lighting. I promise next time we'll do a tutorial in regular daylight because I'm having too much problems with this unnatural light bullshit. <laughs> so after, if uh, I didn't have mascara on, I would curl my lashes and put on my L'Oreal Hip uh, mascara, which is a great mascara. I do recommend using it. And I would finish off with my uh, Revlon powder blush. I have a pink blush that I'm using. And I also have nothing else. <laughs> so there's my look. I hope you like it. Thanks.